Let's learn Salesforce. We're going to talk about all of the permissions together. So if you didn't look at my last bunch of videos, please go do that. And then this will hopefully tie that all together. All right, so first things at the top, we have organization-wide defaults. Those are the foundation settings for your entire, entire org. I was lied to as a young admin and told that the organization-wide defaults were as strict as it gets. That's not true because apparently there are now things on profiles and, but generally speaking, the organization-wide defaults really are the foundation for everything else in your system. So you want these to be as restricted as possible. From there, we've got profiles and profiles are going to give you object level access. Can you see cases? Can you not see cases? If you need a special permission, you should see cases, even though you're a salesperson and you generally wouldn't see cases, you could give a permission set. From there, you also, under organization-wide defaults, you're going to have roles. Roles look a little bit like your company um, business map, but they are more specific around who's a manager, who's a direct report, and what does the team structure look like? You can rinse and reuse roles multiple times, and I encourage you to do so. You do not want one person per role. That doesn't make sense, and it's not very sustainable. If there's somebody like an executive assistant that needs to see something that generally a manager would see, you can make a sharing role and say that person's role gets to see everything that the manager gets to see. All right, then after that, you've got all of these special, special things. You have permission set groups, so you can take a bunch of permission sets, group them together, and then assign them as a group, which can be really helpful if you're in a large org or you have a lot of permission sets. There are also muting permission sets. So that thing I said over here, when this is as restricted as it gets, well, you can restrict some settings based on these permission sets that revoke access instead of grant access. Record level sharing is something that kind of contributes to sharing roles and roles. You can say, I'm the owner of account Acme and I want you, Ashley, to be able to see it. And you can share something on a single record basis. There are also teams. If your company is using teams, you can have an account team, an opportunity team, a case team. And with those teams, you can say anyone on the team is able to view or edit and so on. And so all of these factors are going to make your Salesforce org the uh, absolute pinnacle of security so that only the right people see the right thing at the right time. And you are the artist to make that happen.